Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. I want to thank everybody who left a very kind comment for me yesterday. I feel a whole lot better. So this is, of course, Crypto Compare, and we're taking a look at the current XRP volume by currency. And Japan has woken back up because 17% uh, is being traded in that um, Japan yen pair. It's the by far the highest percentage when it comes to fiat, but it looks like a lot of people had their money parked in Tether because it's now accounting for 27% of the XRP trades followed by BTC at 22.31. But I'm happy to see that Japan is back there in some very exciting numbers. I think um, you know, Japan loves XRP and it's nice to see the price action. It has people uh, excited again and trading. Okay, so there was a news release today. It's about global brain. Global brain is really a global brain. It's a very um, prestigious financial fund that has a group of 42 members that was put together by a gentleman uh, of the name of Yurihiko-san. And Yurihiko-san not only has 42 amazing brains, but 11 of which are women. And that's very high percentage for Japan. Uh, the people who he assembled uh, come from the securities background, Boston Consulting Group, Mizuho Bank, Mitsubishi UFJ Bank, Amazon, Microsoft, Sony, McKinsey Group, gosh, Ant Capital, JP Morgan, Deloitte. I mean, it, the list just goes on. And they brought uh, with a few other people, including Ripple and Coinbase, OKX and Blockchain Capital, 12.8 million to fund this company called Securitize. And what Securitize does basically is they create a platform that's P2P, it's compliant, has 24-7, 365 day access, provides fractional ownership by eliminating the middleman to create a tokenized asset. And this provides people the true ownership of converting the rights using blockchain with instant settlement. Now, if that didn't make sense, let me tell you what will make sense. Just four years ago, only four years ago, on Wall Street, people would actually send paper by bicycle messenger to an SEC transfer agent to actually complete that transfer if something was traded. Can you believe that? Just four years ago. So now we have these types of platforms with um, Securitize that will allow us to trade uh, some of the trillions of dollars worth of assets that are going to be digitized in the future. So these are going to be tokenized securities. And anything visible and countable can be tokenized. There are $256 trillion worth of assets in existence. So, you know, you name it, real estate, art, whatever, and it can be broken up into small pieces. And when you tokenize it, you actually own it. And you can own it by completing the life cycle of that trade from the beginning to the end. No more paper, no more bicycles, no more middlemen. This is why blockchain is so exciting. And on top of that, it will create liquidity. And that was, you know, one of the key components that was always a problem with uh, securities that are, were tokenized in the past. And this adds instant liquidity with the instant settlement. So it's really, really super exciting. All right. I think I have talked about this company at least three or four times. It's a company called Last Roots. It was invested in by SBI Holdings. SBI Holdings back in 2016, I think brought seven million to the table to get it off the ground. And it's not only off the ground, it's working. It's a it is um, 
wow, has 55 or 50, mm, 50,000 registered users that are active and it plays 5 million ads per month. So the platform is a place where you can watch the ads and when you watch the ads, you get paid in crypto. So it's, and the ads are actually fun and it's not, it's not like a TV commercial. It's really been created for a more vibrant um, web app platform or web app uh, design. And so the ads are short and um, creative and just a lot more interesting than you would think an ad could be. I think the this is like the next stage of advertising. So when we look at this, it was pretty much a mm, domestic project. However, they are going to debut in the United States starting today, I think. Yeah, it's going to be at the Blockchain Expo, which is on November 28th and 29th in Santa Clara, uh, Santa Clara County, which is well, Santa Clara is just south of San Francisco at the convention center, center there. And it is in the heart, of course, of Silicon Valley. And with their 2018 lineup of speakers, we have somebody from Ripple who's going to speak. That's going to be Craig DeWitt. He is the director of product. His talk is on day two at 11.40 a.m. And he'll be speaking about the world's first production blockchain. He's a California boy. He grew up in San Diego. He went to school at UC Berkeley, did his MBA at Stanford. And before he joined Ripple back in 2015, he was uh, getting his feet wet in um, the Adobe company and also with Bloomberg. So he is now the product uh, director of product. Before that, he served as the senior product manager from 2015 to 2018. And I think you might have just seen him on the Ripple movie uh, that comes that came out where they talk about multi-hop. So he gave his interview on that movie. All right, so let's see. Today, also November 29th, um, Dalip Rao is going to be speaking at the World Bank main building in Washington, D.C., and he is always a joy to listen to. His seminar will discuss how DLT is upending the way money is moved around borders today. And the speaker, uh, who is Mr. Rao, will present the qualities of DT, DLT and how it solves fundamental pain points such as cost, speed, and transparency. So I think uh, we'll look forward to seeing that. Hopefully it'll be out for us to watch within the next 24 hours. Okay, we are moving to the fluff. I'm going to go back to the Koban TV, which is the company that's going to debut in the blockchain uh event in Santa Clara. And you can go watch many commercials that you might, you might find kind of fun. There's a series called Do You Know What It Is? And it's products that are from Japan that have a little bit of a creative, unusual design to them. I think you'll find a lot of this is not available in the United States. And they'll ask somebody who is not from Japan uh, what is this? And most people have no idea and can't figure it out. So you can watch these and I think have a very good time looking at products that are used in Japan, but you don't see in the West. Okay, everybody. Take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.